All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is round two, match four of the HLL IASP charity tournament. This time it's Tango versus Big Red One and the line. We're on Karen Tan on Town Center. I'm here with First Lieutenant Rob. Hello, everybody. And there's no one else on action cam today. And once hey. again, we are on Town Center. Yes. So pretty much Town Center has been the point. Pretty much every match except for what one round of one match. Yep. So one part of one that's, match. So most they, of the time, it's always been Town Center. Yeah, I would say that's statistically unlikely <laughs> without a significant bias for Town Center. All right. Uh, so Sparrow, I'll watch from the church side if you want to take the railroad. All right. So last time Big Red One played. They came out with some devastating tank play. Um, and Tango was doing their common, you know, spread out wide and get the flanks in. So it'd be interesting to see how Big Red One adjusts, if at all, for the urban environment. Looks like they're already fielding three tanks, but they're all either light or medium from Tango, or from Big Red One, rather. Yeah. What are you seeing on the Tango side? Tango sporting a recon and a heavy. They've got their troops spread out, though, from the top of the map to the very bottom of the map. So it should be interesting to see as they, we get underway. Yeah, Big Red One's also spreading out the map pretty pretty wide. We got a 40v40 matchup, too. So this should be fairly interesting. Yeah. I, Big Red One actually has already spawned two supply trucks, and they're using their transport, so they're coming in from all angles. So it'll be interesting to see... Who wins the race to town center? Well, Big Red wants pro or not Big Red wants. Tango is probably going to get a vehicle in there first. The recon followed closely by a transport truck with three uh, squad leads in it. Seems like Big Red wants doing a similar policy. They have four squad leads all together coming from the south using the transport truck. Meanwhile, they have their supply truck getting that garrison up right on the line. Uh, we got some artillery by Big Red One right in the path of this recon. Hasn't seemed to have phased the recon at all, but I know the transport truck is shortly behind. It's brutal. Well, it's almost like the driver has to, like, very carefully time the artillery and have to get hit by it. Well, they, they've seemed to have gone out of the truck, but they're still sending... Some of their guys have gotten out of the truck, and the other group has, like, started to push in on foot. But they've all just abandoned the truck now to try and push on foot. As we go back over, it seems like Big Red One has is pushed into town center first. Yeah, it seems like that troop transport from Big Red One gives them the early lead to the point with three SLs getting in there. They've got four. Yeah, they've got four different SLs just taking over the point. Yeah, Tango's yeah. taking a very wide approach here while his Big Red One has seemed to have rushed and captured key positions on the point. They've got people in the alley house and the corner house by church, which is pretty good for the American side. Yeah, it looks like Big, Big Red One and the TL are going to have control over Town Center. Not much contention from Tango. A really quick opening play from Big Red One. It seems like Big Red One has one extra person on it. Yeah, I'm I'm on it. They are the they are on a two minute warning to you get rectified or else I'm just gonna kick whoever the most recent person is. Okay, they're telling me who they kick, so I'm gonna take care of that. 
I think he left. Oh, he yeah. did. Alright, yeah, Big Red 1's taking the point in force. Looks like they have their... Big Red 1 has a light vehicle, has their light tank on customs already. Are you capturing okay. customs right now, or do you want me to go rotate and do that? Uh, I'll go rotate the customs. Um, it'll be easier for me to keep a track of everyone, we'll making sure they're staying in the right positions. All right. There goes Big Red 1's light tank that was harassing customs. Yeah, it seems like there's a enemy tank on point, and they're trying to duke it out with this uh, tiger. I will say, Customs is a really tough point to attack with only maybe two avenues of approach over the water. It's really going to require Big Red 1 to really push Tango back into the city to have a chance at getting into Customs. Yeah, there's really only three places to cross that river. You got the boat crossing all the way in the north, you've got the bridge, and then I think there's a set of boats in the H uh, sector that you can run across. Well, what I just discovered is apparently you can actually cross the river with a troop transport before you drowned. Ah. The big run one just got a troop transport across the river. But HL Tango is responding as they definitely identified it coming across. Well, if that's not just... <laughs> A super wonky situation with the game, right? Jeez. Able to get a submarine troop transport, but hey, this is what it is. Looks like they won't get much out of it as HL Tango is able to respond quite quickly to uh, take out the lone trooper running the troop transport. Who said there wasn't naval gameplay in this game? <laughs> right. Like, we strive for realism here in Hell at Loose. <laughs> All yeah. about them. Listen, you don't know, those World War II troop transports had giant snorkels on them, alright? Ah, dude, I bet. For the exhaust and the people who were inside. It looks like Big Red 1 is starting to push into town and attempting the bridge crossing into customs here shortly. Yeah, Tango just lost their tank that was pushing onto town center. A uh, American tank scooped in from behind them and took him out. What's happening on town center it's relatively quiet right now on customs is big yeah and starting to maneuver into point everyone's pushed out quite a bit um it looks like tango's got guys sweeping the back of town center for garrisons and stuff but they've been pushed back a few blocks from the actual point itself as uh, big red one just has a swarm of people on point right now And meanwhile, Big Red 1 has managed to cross into customs. They have about one squad size element in the hard point. I guess the question is how will Tango respond? And Big Red 1 squad was able to get in on the strong point and take out HL Tango's presence, so now they're starting to get cap progress. Yeah, it looks like some of the guys from Tango are pushing back onto Customs, but if they lose Customs, it's going to be fairly rough for them. Yeah, right now there's only about 
a squad size element on customs there's capping and it looks like HL Tango is committing what I would expect to be plenty of troops to counter. But right now they must have B BR1 must have some of their best shooters because they're really losing people down. HL Tango is having a hard time inflicting any casualties. <laughs> I mean, they're slowing that cap progress with the reinforce on point, but they really need to get in there before that goes up. Yeah, meanwhile, Big Red 1 only has one outpost, so if HL Tango is able to com complete, inflict any casualties, this cap should go back towards their direction. Still tilting heavily in Big Red One's favor. Oh, we got a bombing run from uh, only assumed to be uh, Big Red One. Doesn't seem to get a whole lot though. Mm. Yeah, really, I mean, this attack, it seems like it's starting to go back towards HL Tango. Yeah, HL Tango is now pushing more into the point now, it seems. Uh, they, they've they more or less surrounded the point itself and are trying to push Big Red 1 back into the point. Which is probably a good counter to Big Red 1's typical strategy of deploying a lot of small squads. And hoping that it kind of pans out. And we're starting to see the cap progress go back towards HL Tango. Um, however, HL Tango still hasn't quite... Oh, there we go. It's two down for Big Red 1, and it looks like HL Tango got regained control over the cap space on Customs. The cap progress continues to tick back towards... Yeah. HL Tango. Big Run 1 did attempt to drop an airhead out on the back side of Customs. Um, it, would, it looks like Tango is there to respond. Yeah, they've got a garrison in H3 uh, keypad 9 or 6. Bombing are coming in on Town Center. This might be devastating. It's got one squad lead. It's mainly hitting the top of the houses. But cap progress is going towards Tango here. Yeah, meanwhile, Big Red 1 is... Looks like Tango has control over the central zone once again against Big Red 1. How's their OP situation looking for Big Red 1? Um, Pretty much everything they have is lit up. They have only... They have garrisons around the point, but both OPs and garrison are all clustered together, so... One penetration by a trooper could wipe out the OPs and garrison on town center itself. They're all in the courtyard house. Oh, uh, yeah. Meanwhile, Ace Tango seems to have gotten back in control of the defense on the defensive side. Looks like Tango has responded to Big Red One's airhead with a recon vehicle. Probably extinguished. Be pretty effective at putting down that push. Yeah, everything on Town Center for Big Red One is signaling hot right now, so. Yeah, they're all in that alley house. And Artie is just pounding away on the point. Looks like HL Tango was able to snuff out most of the assault on 
few customs. Regain pretty significant map control onto the point. V41 V41, right? Correct. Uh, Tango has one too many, it looks like. So, just let them know they have to drop one. If they don't drop one in two minutes, we'll just kick the last person to join. They tell Tango's defense has been playing very well. If everyone really did hit from all angles, they were able to recover from that the desperate situation, so well done to them. How do you tell who joined the server? Oh, uh it looks like a Sally you went. Okay, he left. Okay. In this recon vehicle, Fresh Hill Tango is really doing a lot of work for their defensive front. Oh, I could imagine. They've effectively helped shut down the assault. So, what's the recon vehicle have on it? For, for the Germans, is it just the... Uh, Pat cannon and then maybe a coax. Yeah, it has a coax and a cannon. Rachel Tango has more or less completely snuffed out the Bravo One assault onto customs. How's the progress going on attacking town center? Enemy in middle HQ. That's fine. Is it a uh, recon? Yep. Uh. Yep. Is he spawn camping? You can't spawn camp the middle one. Yeah, it looks like Big Red One has been pushed off the point by some really great plays from HL Tango. Yeah, HL Tango has just been kind of sweeping around the point, trying to sniff out any of the garrisons that BR1 might have. And then once they've done their sweep, they kind of push into the center point. More or less in unison, it seems. Uh, meanwhile, Big Red One has found an opening through the lines of HL Tango as they're getting across the boat crossing into the north, but no SL, it's just an engineer and a sniper team. Yeah, the recon vehicle is going to react to that right now. Yeah, I think if there was ever going to be one that was going to be a tie, 3-2-3-2, three, two, three, two, this would probably be the match, right? I I would not be surprised if we see HL Tango come into this next round, take count center, and it's just uh, yeah, pretty much just an even play. Yeah, it looks like Tango's placing down supplies and, a gear, and an airhead near the point. One's north of uh, the church, and one is to the south. 
northwest yeah, of Brown, Town Yeah, Brown One doesn't seem to be having much luck penetrating through into customs. HL Tangles pulling up a pretty stiff defense for him. Seems to be the same case here on Town Center. There's one consistent spawn by the alley house, but it seems like once that gets pushed, it'll be harder for them to defend it. This moment of silence has been brought to you by Robin Hood. You know, the story of Robin Hood, where an archer steals from the rich and gives to the poor? Not in this case. We've got the rich protecting the rich. Robin Hood. We're gonna screw you. <laughs> Trying to get us thrown off of YouTube, I see. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, my very satirical sponsorship messages. Yeah, really, it, it's, it looks like it's devolving into a cat and mouse game by once trying to get across the boat crossing. Meanwhile, HL Tango is a recon Vic pretty much just locking it down. Got a bombing run or something coming in. Sounds like. Hey, you got one extra. Thank you. I wish there was a better way in uh, battle metrics to actually see the... I'd rather see the tab menu in battle metrics rather than the log. Mm. I have they, a minute to see if can... They fixed it. I'll say big red one's trying to get another... Air head up behind Bill Tango. In all honesty, the airhead's really the only way you're gonna get in and around. Uh, yeah, on customs, that seems to be the only way. They're taking out a garrison in H3 keypad 6 and it's gone now. Is that around yes. where that airhead was? Correct. HL Tango is responding, but it'll be interesting to see if R1 tries to commit a pretty significant push here. Seems like they only have one AT guy spawn at the airhead on the first wave. Yeah, but their hold on town center is uh, not all that strong. It, Tango seems to be pushing in from the church side. And all they need to do is get to that corner house. Once they get to that corner house and lock out that garrison, then this town center battle is kind of over. Yeah, meanwhile, it looks like Big Red One is actually getting, starting to win their gunfights on point and might be giving Tango a bit of a, some challenges on the point. Yeah, we have cab progress going towards town center. You know, especially these little defensive battles, man. It's all about the gunfights. Where is the yeah. uh, sniper at? He's just camping the artillery. And with that 
quick spawn in for Mito Tango. It looks like they've been able to retake control over the point. Looks like Big Red Wood is. It's only committed about one squad. Try to come in on that airhead. I think they're. And smartly so, being very conservative on how many troops are trying to send in to assault. Yeah. Uh, both recon elements and two or one infantry, really two recon and infantry elements, all they have putting pressure onto the point. Meanwhile, HL Tango, though, only really has one squad size element defending. It'll be interesting to see if, you know, HL Tango might be a little trouble here because it looks like her. Uh, Brad One is starting to get some pretty good map control. Yeah. Uh, customs. Yeah, as more Big Red One leaves for customs, less is here on town center. It's they really just don't have a strong hold over the surrounding area. Tango is slowly pushing into the point. Yeah, meanwhile, Tango's getting reinforced with his, with armor and recon vehicle support onto customs. It's bigger one now is starting to pressure from the rear side. Yeah, town center right now is getting cap progress towards Tango. This might be the play of the game right here. Uh, Renegru 08 is coming up on that spawn area in the alley side courthouse. If he just gets close enough, he'll be able to take it out. Oh, we got a bombing run in here by uh, HL Tango going right through town center. This might actually take out a number of people here. Yeah, meanwhile, it's pretty much hand-to-hand -hand combat here on custom is, is big red one and tango are just trading bit of a whiff on the bombing run here yeah it seems like the bombing runs are much less effective here in here in tan just so much building coverage it's hard to really have much effect yeah building yeah. coverage and micro terrain yeah, meanwhile, it looks like HL Tango has put up a pretty stiff defense for... Man, okay. Alright, here it comes. Town Bid Mac and... Kondakro? I can't pronounce it. They're pushing up on the alley house now, so I can imagine Big Red One's OPs are lighting a pot, and they're kind of reacting to that. Yep, everything's hot over there. They just have to get close enough. Yeah. Every time they come to the corner and then they run back. All it takes is one satchel charge on that man. Blow up like four outposts in a garrison. I know, but they ran back. I think they were getting shot by a pepper from Big Red One in the back as they went through that alleyway. Ironically, it's a big red one place a garrison down there it had really great play except the recon vic from HL Tango unbeknownst to them that garrison's there Maybe they do know but they're able to lock it out So all big red one can do is stare as their garrison's locked out But it looks like their recon vic is starting to move away from the garrison. Maybe it'll get unlocked yep. And there we go bigger one once again has the garrison available to them on the far side of customs. So now that we've hit the one hour mark, there's no longer any ability for the mercy roll. So already this match has been extraordinarily tight. Oh yeah. I gotta say Oh my god. I just watched I don't know how he died, but somehow the assault trooper just died and he got blown up 
like you saw his dangling body throw all the way through the air and probably got launched like 50 feet. <laughs> that was crazy. I feel like both teams are starting to scratch their heads a little bit about how can they how can they just get that one more point like which way like what what can we do to change up this fight yeah i feel like uh tango's been really close to actually clearing them off the point several times they just haven't successfully done it yet now it seems like tango has actually made it to the center of town center the person just died who made it but they are getting closer and closer to where those OPs and garrisons are. All they gotta do is lock it out. Once they lock out that garrison and OPs, it, they'll have a much easier time. Go ahead. Yeah, and despite the best effort from Big Red One, HLL Tango is proving to have a pretty impenetrable defense. If structure all around. As we get uh, the recon Vic running over a trooper to kill him. Good good move. It looks like HL Tango sending their target to support the push on town center. Keeping their recon vehicle. And this is an interesting use of the recon vehicle. It seems to be very effective. Yeah. For really helping out the defense. Yeah, especially since on this... I think it's just this particular map. I don't think it's indicative of every recon vehicle on every map. And that's just because mm. tanks attacking customs only have one entryway and they've AT'd it. Or they have AT mines all over that bridge. So they're going to know if somebody's coming and they're going to shoot them before they can really react. Yeah, meanwhile, we have both tigers trying to move in from customs. Uh, the monk monk might actually be able to take out at least one tiger. A few shots from the rear. Good shots from monk monk. Oh, town center's got cat progress. Yeah, it's it's been very very close back and forth. But as soon as uh, Tango gets cap progress, they instantly lose it. They just don't have enough people on the point. The only people on the point are in the corner house by the church. You want a bigger one attempted bombing run onto the point, but um, it doesn't seem like it got a whole lot. Oh wow, that was HL Tango. Put, or yeah, bigger one put a bombing run on point. Didn't really do much to loosen up Tango's hold on customs. I'll be right back. Never mind. I thought I had to wake up my AC, but somebody already kicked it on for me. Nice. It looks like Big Red Ones just won a couple gunfights. They might have a little bit of a play developing on to customs. Big Red One seems to have a uh, tank pushing into point uh, on the town center. It seems damaged, but it looks like they're using it as a uh, deterrent for right now. Yeah, meanwhile, the recon Vic from each of the tank are really keeping their defense alive. There's a huge buildup of troops on the corner house uh, going towards the church, but it looks like Tango's been able to hold the house with uh, Thomas and Quinagonzo. Yeah, I... Meanwhile, we're starting to see bigger ones are really getting a, a lot of map control in and out of customs and starting to squeeze out the defensive force. They're just not quite able just have not quite yet found a way to deal with this recon vehicle. 
QAT guys closing in on him. We might see the end of this recon back here shortly with Monk Monk and Derek inbound. Also looks like HL Tango has already called the squad back to help assist on the defense. As Big Red 1 takes control over the center point. And there's the cap progress. Very effective artillery coming in from Big Red One as well onto customs. Oh, and Derek gets a very beautiful shot on the recon Vic. And along with that, cat progress onto customs with Crazy though, this fight over customs is like a 3v3. There's not too many troopers on either side. <laughs> yeah, all the focus is on town center. I think uh, maybe both teams realize that in this situation it might be easiest for them just to hold town center rather than push on to customs because customs is a pretty brutal point to attack. I mean, right now, Big Red One's getting it done. They're, they're getting consistent cap pressure as these whole tangles working to get back into the point. Looks like HL Tango has won a couple gunfights and starting to resecure the area around customs. Fat progress starts to tick back in their favor. Jeez, it's been this back and forth for a while now. Yeah. HL Tango did lose their armor support on the defensive, so we'll see if that's enough to make the difference for Big Red One to get in there. We've got a bombing run going down the street at Town Center. It could take out a number of the uh, Big Red One guys. Depending on when it gets here. And HL Tangles once again secured control over customs. They weather another close call is fire one. <laughs> that was, that was a really good bombing run for Tango. It took out two of the SLs. They just need to push in now. Which they're doing in force from the church and from the south side of town center. Yeah, meanwhile, Tango has control over customs, so if they're able to make a move now, I don't think Big Red One's going to be able to force a cap race. Yeah, Big Red One's lost all, all their squad leads at, well, okay, all but two of their squad leads at the moment. And there's just been a respawn. And we're approaching the five minute mark. As it looks like Big Red One more or less gave up on the attack. I even think it looks like they almost completely gave up on the attack on customs. Probably all hands on deck to play defense in the last five minutes. And we got cop cap progress going towards Tango right now. Oh boy. It's just been this back and forth because they have a garrison or an OP in that alley house. So it's like as soon as they get cap progress, there's just this big spawn wave on that corner house. Mm. If I was Tango right now, I'd be putting Artie on that. Just. I feel like yeah, it's a really right obvious. There. I feel like it's a really obvious spawn point. All right, let's give out the five minute warning. So we hit the 50 minute mark. ACL Tango has pretty solid control over the customs point. Yeah, this will be interesting to see. It might go to Tango in this next round because there is a bit of American bias on this map. 
just due to close quarters and automatic weapons. Interesting to see with that five minutes if Tango's able to get a <laughs> sneak a cap in here. That would be pretty incredible. Ooh, another big artillery barrage from Bri One knocks another four or five Tango guys to the ground. Yeah, Tango's kind of giving up control of the church area in order just to push onto the point more. They have control over the corner house, but not much else. Pristulo could be the hero here if he can just get near that garrison and he dies Yeah, meanwhile, we're not seeing much from big River one at this point trying to cap customs I suspect they probably put almost all their efforts into just making sure they control town center Yeah, it looks like we got another tank from big red one on point I've zoomed in a little bit just to see more of what things are happening here Meanwhile, Big Red One has three recon personnel just doing everything they can to shut down that middle artillery. Gotti Peden, come on. Be the hero they need. Take out all the OPs at the corner house. You're so close. And he's dead. Yeah, meanwhile, we're getting close to the two minute mark. They shall tangle off to start getting some cap progress here shortly. Amazingly, Big Red One still has 283 manpower. Wow. So they still have plenty of manpower to reinforce if things do get in trouble for them. Yeah, it seems like a lot of the. Uh nodes and stuff like that for tango were taken out they had them by the uh rail south of the rail station in h6 they only got two fuel nodes there now yeah bigger one made the decision to move their some of their manpower nodes up keep that consistent manpower so we're hitting the two minute mark um it looks like hl tango's pretty content with having three squads on customs with bigger one content not to contest Alrighty, gonna do a score check with the last minute and a half of a fantastic round. Yeah, this was pretty close. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see if Tango actually takes Town Center in the next matchup. Again, I'm assuming it's gonna be Town Center or not Canal Crossing or Rail Station. Yeah, that would be really interesting, right? Like, Town Center is so brutal on the first cap. Like, once you're locked in, it's really hard to get dig people out of it. Yeah, Big Red 1 is now pushing more off the point. I think as they realize that there's no way they can lose the point at this point, given their uh, manpower situation, they could just simply reinforce. Hmm. Yeah, and I can say it seems like 30 seconds left. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a 3-2 to two victory for Big Red Round. The Big Red 1 in TL for the first round. So, it'll be really interesting to see what we get from round 2. Alright, Sparrow, you ready to flip? Yep. Alright, uh, I'll give you the countdown. Uh, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, and go ahead and flip it. <laughs> 